Hello and welcome to Misha's Journal Podcast, where I reveal what the Lord is saying through dreams, visions, and testimonials. Today's topic is modus operandi. As you can hear, my voice is almost completely gone, so I'm going to speak this episode in a whisper because the Lord wanted me to get it out and it's it's urgent um I'm really excited to tell you what's been going on and why my voice is like this so if you don't mind I'm gonna do this episode in a whisper it just it hurts to talk um a little bit it hurts my throat so this is what's been going on I've been yelling and screaming and crying and just fighting. (laughs) Um, Last episode I uploaded, I talked to you about getting through, uh, um, getting through a a, a testing and then uh, the Lord celebrated me and I was like, okay, what does this mean? Well, are where I am. We're here in this place where we are fighting for our life. (laughs) We're fighting for our life. I know that I've been fighting for my life. I've been literally in pain. Not just my throat, but just my body aching. Really pushing, just pushing through my prayers, and it's not the same. I will explain all this. So, I was instructed by the Lord to give an account to what everything 337 means. 337 is the, the plane, the airplane elevation, and I looked it up. I did, I researched uh, the meaning of it, and and I want to give my testimony. As to what I've been going through. Oh my gosh. (sighs) What I've been going through. And. Just kind of. uh, A few extra things that the Lord wanted to to let everyone know. So. Let me get into this. So. um, So the Sky Master. So this. uh, This plane 337. Is a sky master and it puts out fires that's the function of it um, I don't know I just felt that I needed to explain that part but this is the plane that the Lord is using he could have used a 347 uh, he could have used anything a 747 but he used a 337 so um, I thought I'd do the research and, and let you know what that meant uh the meaning of that plane okay so anyway moving right along so the title modus operandi is the meaning um it means a manner of operating a process a method of functioning and doing things so this is what the lord has us um it's very appropriate that the title for what the Lord has us doing. So let me um, go. Let me go next to what He has. He has some scripture that He gave me, and I'm gonna go through the scripture really quick because I want to get to my testimony. I want to tell you what I've been going through and what that means for you. your shoulders the key of the house of david 
and what he opens no one can shut and what he shuts no one can open John 10 10 the thief comes to steal kill and destroy I have come that they might have life and have it to the full I also want to read Romans 12 and 2 let me go into that I'll, I'll, I'll pull that up in a second let me give you this one um, so 12 to next um the what 12 12 so he's given me 12 12 um I've, I've seen that a few times this means divine apostolic government a new breed changing of the guard promotion a shifting into new alignment for the new season new anointing basically right okay so then we have Matthew 11 and 12 the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force okay I'm telling you right now this verse he gave to me and I think he was encouraging me with this because I that we've been in prayer about 
and saying, Lord, get rid of this, get rid of that. He's not just going to miraculously get rid of it for you. We are going to have to hate. We're going to have to hate it and purge it from ourselves. What he's doing, he's showing us what it is that we have. The enemy is going to test us. He's, they're going to test us with these things and showing us so we'll know, so you know, so we'll really know. And we're going to have to come to grips with, okay, this is what I'm dealing with. We're going to have to hate it and purge it from ourselves. We're going to have to do this ourselves. This is not anything the Lord is doing for us. Okay. All right. I want to I want to emphasize that he's not doing it for us. We're doing it. So Matthew 11 and 12. It resonates kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force I've been I've been literally taking taking this by force in prayer specifically it was just brought to my thought I was in prayer now when I pray it's this is <clears throat> Or not. Because guess what? Where? 
where you're going. You cannot take it with you. You're not taking it with you in your next season. You cannot take it with you. If you suffer from pride, you're not taking pride with you. You can't. There's no way that you're going to be able to do this. And you'll keep going around that mountain. I'm telling you. Yesterday, a couple days, for a couple days, um, and it's like one day, uh, one or two days, I'll be, I'll do great. I'll get through my prayers really quickly because I'm on top of it. The next day, it'll be tough. And I'm telling you, I am learning from trial and error. Trial and error. I am, I'm learning. fighting the, the day before basically fighting the enemy with pride you can't do that I didn't even know I was doing that you can't just trash talk the enemy with and, and like fight you can't fight with pride you have to be humble if that is something that's wrong it's just this is an example it's an example you cannot uh, what's another example you cannot 
be dealing with something and using it. You, you, you can't. You can't have anything about you, it within you. That's not of God. Let me tell you. You need to have the mind of Christ. This is what all of this is about. We are fighting for the mind of Christ. We are fighting for the mind of Christ. We're fighting <clears throat> all of these scriptures that we've been speaking and proclaiming are now having that they're they're being realized in our life now we're not just speaking it and pretending to live it and just saying oh lord forgive me i'm just a sinner and i go from grace to i go from glory to glory but i live under grace oh no that's not happening we are becoming christ do you understand me all right let me go into this I'm going to finish up with um, the, a couple of scriptures and then I'm going to bring up um, uh, more on the having the, the, what God wants from us, what he expects from us, okay? <clears throat> oh, but yesterday, let me tell you, I learned from yesterday, this morning. And although um, I woke up, I prayed for four hours, I learned um, from some things from yesterday. And I got through four hours. So, And the Lord is increasing. He's increasing my prayer. So if I'm, the, that's me. Um, I don't know if he's not, probably not going to have you praying like crazy like that. <laughs> but he, we all have our own stuff. We have our, all have our own assignments. We are, all have our own walk. We all have our own stuff that we're that we have in us that we need to purge. We are. We all have our own. Okay, and so, <clears throat> and so now I have here uh, Jeremiah thirty three and three. Call to me, and I will answer you. The things you do not know. Great and searchable things that you do not know. Okay. And so um, I just wanted to, um, I wrote a side note in this that all of this stuff takes time. Um, the reason why what, um, what I was trying to do yesterday didn't work before is because it's not about winning. It's not about, uh, it's not about winning uh, the battle. It's not about winning the battle. It's about purging the flesh. It's about. It's not always about. But what I did have to do is, uh, um, so when I am, when when I am winning the battle, I'm winning, uh, pushing sin out. I'm pushing it out like with all my heart and with all my mind. That's what I'm. That's what I'm battling. But. If you're still, if it's there, you're going around that mountain. I'm telling you, you're going around that mountain. <clears throat> so the enemy wants us to forfeit. Let me tell you, the enemy wants us to forfeit everything. They want you to give up. I was not about to give up. The Lord had to call me to himself and say, daughter, come sit with me. Because I did not have a great night, yeah, a great day yesterday. <laughs> and I was just, he doesn't want us to be or feel defeated. And he did not want me, he, that wasn't his, his goal wasn't me to pray for that long. That's not what it was about. Because <clears throat> he called me earlier, I just kept, I just kept going. I just kept going. I just did not want to give up. I, that's just me. I did not want to give up. And, and so... He's, he's calling us higher. Um, the enemy wants us to give up. That's their whole goal. 
is to distract to keep you to, to to keep me to keep me distracted i mean they there's like they're multiple so they're just each doing their own thing and just trying to keep you distracted and they want you to give up they want you to give up so if you don't give up you're going to win you're going to go. and the lord is not going to let you go he's not going to just he's not going to let you just go you'll just keep trying until you get it right and that's basically some uh, of our some of uh, us are going to have a certain process than others we're going to have a different process than others So here we go. Um, so John 4 and 23. So God is spirit. His worshipers must worship in spirit and truth. Okay, so <clears throat> God needs us to not only have the mind of Christ, but to be living out, walking in the spirit, living in the spirit. Like God is a spirit being. He is holy absolutely holy and so he needs us we need to be holy as he is holy jesus christ needs to be in us people need to really not know the difference and i mean not know the difference at all people cannot they they can't they're not going to be able to see a difference let me just say it that way when the Lord is done, when you are, when you give up yourself, your pride, everything, when you give it up, you will be like Christ. He is giving us this amazing, this grace to where he's bringing you up higher. And I can't even explain it. It's like he's doing it. He's doing it. When we give it up. He's he's doing it. He's, then he's like, okay, then I'm, I'm going to bring you higher. He's not going to just let you. He's not going to just take it from you. Because I'm just like, I, I guess I, I say that all the time. I pray that. But from all of this, my understanding is that he's not going to just take it from you. You are going to have to purge it from yourself. And that he's going to lift you up and bring you higher. And you're going to go from glory to glory. You're going to do it. And I, I want to, I want you to be encouraged. You did not, you did not have to, the, the, the 12 hour straight prayer that I did. Oh my gosh. And then the other day, I mean, I've been, he's been increasing my prayer too. It's been, it started out, you know, six hours and then it increased. He's increasing like two hours. He adds on every day, a couple hours. <laughs> And it's so, it's temporary, okay? This is not forever. This is just to get us where we're supposed to be. And I, I can't wait because this is, this is literally the fight of my life, okay? Fighting for my life anyway. So we must live in spirit and truth. Now, um, this is something that I'm reading from, um, sunshinegray.com and it's talking about Jesus demonstrated wisdom and discernment so these are scriptures that I pulled up because I thought it went really well with um, with this message so John 5 and 30 says by myself I can do nothing I judge only as I hear and my judgment is just I seek not to please myself but him who sent me these are scripture that I just I pulled up on here because I thought it resonated so well. So Colossians 2 and 2 to 3. My, my goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they 
may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So Jesus demonstrated obedience to the will of God. And this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to demonstrate obedience to the will of God. In everything Jesus did, he sought to do the will of the Father, regardless of the pain and suffering it cost. It didn't matter the cost. He did it. The, the apostles come to mind when they wrote that scripture, that God, that, that Christ inspired scripture. They weren't just they weren't just writing the, the scripture to edify us to edify themselves or to edify the people they were teaching. They lived this out. They were truly changed from the inside out. They were changed from the inside out, okay? And I, I did not, I did not get it until this week. I did not get it fully until I, like I'm living it right now. I'm, the suffering and the, the cost the suffering and the cost. This is why, this is what comes to mind right now. This is why you have a Christian rapper that starts out sold out for Christ and he just wants the, the uh, to do everything for the Lord and he's rapping about it and he's also a pastor and guess what? He can't pay the cost. You know why? Because all he wanted in the first place, he didn't really want he didn't want the, the cup. He didn't want that cup. He didn't want that oil. He didn't want to pay for that oil. They wanted the fame. They wanted the fame. And you can tell who paid, who paid for their, for their, uh, for their cup and who sold out to fame because it's too it's it's not it's not for the faint of heart i'm telling you that right now this is not for the faint of heart i thought it was gonna be easy i was looking for like blessings after i was like okay great i'm ready to to go into my i'm ready to go into my new my new new uh life i guess uh, i guess and and so I was just, I had the wrong, I had the wrong idea. I had a different idea and it wasn't at all what I thought. <laughs> and it's coming. The blessings are coming. They're just, <clears throat> it's not suffering forever, but it's a cost that you have to, that, that you have to get through. You have to drink your cup to get to the, to, to where you're going. And I'm telling you now, it doesn't get easier. Um, because once you do reach that, once you do reach and cross over into um, living in the blessings, I'm pretty sure there are new levels and new doubles there as well. And you're going to have to deal with that as well. And it's going to be increased and increased. I mean, sometimes I used to hear pastors talk about praying for hours and hours a day. And I used to be like, wow, how do they do like how like it like this was when it was hard for me to pay tw pray 20 minutes it was hard for me to pray 20 minutes anyway let me move right along let's see 519 so so Jesus said to them truly truly i say to you the son can do nothing of his own accord but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. And we just need to follow this example. <laughs> I'm telling you. So Jesus, Jesus' mind was aligned with Scripture. Now this is the part. This is the part right here. Your, our minds need to be aligned with Scripture. So much so, I mean, like I said, we are living this out, right? We need to be living this out. 
We have to be living that scripture. We speak it, we live it. And this is not, uh, we, we don't, we have no excuses. We have nothing like the Lord will give us the grace to live in that, in that so that we won't fall. And, and I'm telling you right now, we are becoming like Christ. This is this is a part of being this is a part of being a part of the the latter rain. We are not going to be able to receive God's glory without being like him. When he pours out his spirit there will be spectators and then there will be people receiving. The spectators are the ones that did not get themselves aligned mentally, physically, emotionally, psychologically, in every way, and spiritually especially, right? So let me read read Romans 12 and 2 in conclusion. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. In Luke 5 and 16, But Jesus himself would often slip away to the wilderness and pray. He was always in the presence of the Father. And I'm telling you, after I go through my doing my spiritual warfare I immediately drop to my knees and I get into the presence of God I don't even care about food I don't care about anything I don't care and that is I can't believe this that I didn't get this before but this is how Christ felt this is what he went through this is exactly how he felt and you're going through it and you're doing it And it's suffering and you feel the pain, literally. You feel the pain, you feel the pain. But you're doing, you do it. And although the Lord is not helping you, he's there. He's there and he's letting you know that he's there with you every step of the way. He, his promise is true and his word does not come back void said I will never leave nor forsake you he's there cheering you along moving with you along and he's not helping you because you have to do this by yourself you have to and that's the that's what you're paying that's that's the suffering that's where it is think about the apostles I urge you to 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 go back and and while you're doing this just maybe read about it i don't know if you like watching it but um uh, the chosen just the, what the apostles went through I rem- i'm reminded of peter when peter uh, denied christ three times after that after he denied him and just felt like i mean i'm telling you these are this is deep It's so deep. And then afterward, it's like he was just, it's like, okay. The Lord said, I'm building my, I'm I'm building my, my church. I'm building my church on this foundation. Well, the, it, this was about, um, you know, the, the church is built on Christ, of course, but the rock something happened to Peter something happened to him he changed and I'm telling you I'm not the same as I was a week ago it's 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 that quick I'm not the same I'm not the same person and I will not be the same from week to week month to month, year to year. It doesn't stop. I will not be the same. And I just wanted to to give um, I guess the Lord, he wanted me to let everyone know (sighs) 
and everything that 337 meant. Everything that going up higher means. This is what going up higher means. The way up is down. So, in conclusion, just remember the Lord is always speaking, If even if we aren't listening. What is he speaking to you? Thank you so much for listening, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.